What's up you guys? Okay, welcome to our final video for Coach Basics. Um, we're going to wrap this up from 60 days down to 50 because that's how awesome you are. And the last 10 days, I don't want to waste another 10 days when you could just be ready to jump right into the diamond training because you're both doing incredible. Um, actually, three of you. There's three of you in the group here. Everybody's doing great and I know that you're ready to wrap this up um, and stop seeing me every day. And I apologize for the inconsistencies with this coach training being with everything that's going on in my personal life, it really has been an issue for me to get on point with it. Um, so I really admire and appreciate all of your patience throughout this experience um, because I feel like I didn't give you my 100%. So I apologize for that and thank you sincerely for being patient with me. Um, so I'm gonna cover the rest of the days all in one quick video. I hope to keep it at about 10 to 15 minutes tops um, because I know that you all have stuff to do. Um, and I got my iPad here with the Coach Basics information just to kind of go over it with you. So the next topic, day 50, is encouraging your coaches to share their story. I can't tell you how important it is to share in this business, right? Um, me, myself, I've been sharing my story for the last two years. It, it's all about emotions, right? So when people are going through a weight loss journey or building a business or everybody has insecurities, even myself, um, we all need somebody that can help lift us up, right? And there's, just think, we're at a different level than most people out there because we're already ahead of the game. We've already gone through the process. We're already products of the product. Um, and there's people out there that don't take that initial step because they don't have somebody who they can relate to, uh, somebody who can share with them what it is exactly that they're gonna, that they might be feeling and how they overcame that struggle, right? Sharing is huge. This is how we build a following. This is how we get people interested in us. This is how we get people to connect with us because it's always deeper. I always say it's always more than fitness. Even when I'm talking to somebody um, who, who wants to lose a lot of weight, it's more than just the pounds. There's a reason behind all this. There's a reason you are where you are today. Let's talk about that reason. Connect with your story. Um, even people who aren't physically um, in, a, in a position to lose weight, they might be fit already, somewhat fit. They have other insecurities. There's always something more. Some Everybody is not always as happy as they should be. Um, and our job is to find out what it is that they're missing and fill that void. Um, so it's not easy to talk about yourself, right? Um, but just practice. Practice it on video, just like this. For anybody who personally knows me, I am really, 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 really shy. Um, so for me to share is a big deal altogether, right? And I know the past few months I've kind of been a little bit more reserved and I need to get back on my grind with sharing um, because I'm going through a lot of stuff right now that other people can relate to um, at a different stage just because I'm in my own world right now and, and going through these emotions and experiences, um, I kind of seem to think like, oh, it has nothing to do with Beachbody, but it really does, it really does. And I'm gonna switch that flip around, flip that switch around um, and start sharing more often myself about the other things going on in my life uh, not related to health and fitness because that's how we attract people to us anyways, right? Uh, we express ourselves, we express what we're feeling, what we look to accomplish, what we have accomplished, how we overcame things, and voila, we build relationships. So it's very, very important to share your story. So my challenge to you, um, it's going to help people connect with you emotionally, first of all. We already covered that anyways. Um, but what is your transformation story? Right, let's talk fitness. What's your transformation story? You might not be done with your journey yet, but I guarantee you, you have a, a, a story to tell, right? And that you've had some, some, some little successful wins under your belt so far and struggles that you've overcome and things that you thought were impossible, yet you tackled them head on, right? Um, feelings, whatever. I want you to post a picture and share your story today on your public timeline um, and, and really get deep into that, right? Because I guarantee you somebody but will read it and they will say, oh my gosh, that is so me. Um, so that's your challenge right there. This is also gonna open up the door for referrals um, and inspire, you're gonna inspire so many people. You're gonna inspire so many people through your story, it's unbelievable. Um, so enough about story, right? Um, the next topic, recognition to challenge group members. I cannot tell you how important this is. Right? Recognize them for any accomplishment. They lost two pounds, make a big deal out of it. Somebody's birthday, make a big deal out of it. Um, somebody did a phenomenal job today, they made some great pictures, they motivated somebody, make a big deal out of it, right? Always highlight everybody's wins. 
Um, sometimes we get caught up in this type of business where we're trying to correct people and coach them. That's not what we want. We want, yes, we want to do that to a certain degree, but we want to lift their spirits. We want to make them feel good. Everybody wants to feel good. Um, so it's important to give people recognition. People work harder for praises than they do for raises. That's a great quote. Um, what happens when you recognize people in a challenge group? They probably work even harder the next day, right? Always give as much recognition to your customers and their coaches as well for their activity. If your coaches hit success club, recognize them. Make that fancy little picture collage. Um, put it in the coach's lounge. Put it on their public wall because this will make other people uh, wonder what it is. What is, th what is this person talking about building their business, doing such a great job? It will make them look like leaders to people that they know in their networks, right? And it will actually help them build a business without them even realizing it just because you're shouting them out publicly. Um, what else? Okay, so what I'm going to ask for you to do today, your challenge on that topic or tomorrow um, or just in general and to continue doing and doing and doing is recognize somebody today on your public Facebook feed and make it a point to recognize a new person each day, okay, from then on for anything, anything, customers, friends, family, um, coaches, anybody at all, challengers, always get in the habit of recognizing someone for something great that they've done. Number 52, time management. Oh my God, I can't even, right now, at this point in my life, I should not be talking about that topic, but I'm getting on it and I'm trying to focus and I'm trying to improve it. And I guess this is something that most people struggle with, right? Um, it's never going to be perfect. So just get, get that out of your head. It's never going to be perfect. You're always going to struggle with time management, but you can get a good grip on it. Um, what's your number one business priority? Huh? Uh, write it down. Write, write down all of your activities that you do in your business and the amount of time you spend committing to your business each day. Track it because I guarantee you 90% of coaches say that they are spending so much time working their beach body business and they're not having results when at the end of the day they're not doing the right things, right? Scrolling through your Facebook feed, reading people's statuses is not productive at all. What's productive? Inviting, 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 and following up with the people that you invite and continuously building these relationships so that they lead into challengers, customers, coaches, and everything else, etc. cetera. Um, okay, so does your commitment align with your goal? If your answer is no, remove any task or obligation that is getting in your way and is not essential to your success. Cross that off your list. You shouldn't be doing that every day. Um, do this to refocus quality time on your business. A power hour. Spend 20 minutes inviting people. Spend 20 minutes following up with people and spend 20 minutes um, preparing tools, materials, tips. Do something in your power hour productive, specific only to drawing in new customers. Build your network with the last 20 minutes, um, right? Because it's all about continuously building your network because the people that you're forming now, you always want to be forming somebody because the people that you're forming now, when you're done with them, then what? You have nobody to fall back on. Meanwhile, if you add people now, they're building a relationship with you by connecting with you before you even start to invite them in a few weeks, etc. So it's a vicious cycle and you have to keep it turning. You have to keep it turning. Um, so, where am I here? Okay, now pull out your calendar. Use it to track the hours you spend on your business over the next two weeks. Commit to doing this for at least two weeks, each and every single day. Use the business activity tracker. Hold yourself accountable. Right? Let's change that from BAT, Business Activity Tracker, to BAT, Business Accomplishments Tracker. If you didn't invite somebody and you write a zero, big deal. Don't let it make you go into some emotional slump of, oh, blah, 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 blah. Hold yourself accountable. Be realistic so that at the end of the month, you can look back and say at all four of your activity sheets for each week and say, wow, I didn't do what I wanted to do this month, but, ah. Uh, I only put in 10 hours of work all month. I didn't follow up with these people, this, this, and that, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you'll start to realize what it is that you need to do to improve. Um, because guess what? You can say you want to build a business or you can build a business. It's one or the other. There is no success without trying. And if you try hard enough, you will succeed. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Um, okay, the next topic is getting coaches started right. So. There's a video here, um, and you can find it in your online office as well, or you could even YouTube, the BAT how-to video, right? Your business activity tracker how-to video. That's exactly what it's called. 
So you're starting to sponsor new coaches. Woo! -hoo! Congrats! Seven day quick start. Make sure you're using that. It's very, very important. I can't tell you today how I wish that from the beginning I would have used that document. If I can go back in time, I would use the business activity tracker so much more often than I did. Um, and you want to start using that business activity tracker immediately to track your business and your progress because you want your coaches to do the same. You can't tell someone else to do something that you're not doing yourself. That's just being a hypocrite and that's not what we are. That's not the culture that Team Beachbody has. Um, now, coaches who start using this business activity tracker from the beginning, from the start equals successful coaches. That's a promise. All right, because you see and you hold yourself accountable and you know what's important and what's not. Um, okay, so ask your sponsoring coach or your upline leaders, anybody at all, when the next Coach Basics program is going to start um, and put it in your calendar and invite your new coaches to participate. Even if they're discount coaches, invite them. Say, hey, Joe... Jane, John Doe, sorry, I couldn't think of what name people use for somebody that they don't know. John Doe, I want to reach out to you because I can't, I would not be able to live with myself if I don't present you with this opportunity. I know you're currently signed up as a coach member uh, to take advantage of the 25% off, but I want to let you know that I think you can do so much more. You've been doing such an amazing job in the challenge group. You've been kind of coaching already, subliminally, without even realizing it. Um, and I just want to let you know that there is a possibility for you to make a few extra, a little extra income for your household. Um, so there is a very simple coach basics group that takes place online. And um, it's only a few minutes a day that you need to commit. Um, if you want to learn how to become a Beachbody coach and do what I'm doing and, and make a little money while doing it because you're already doing it anyways, then this is a great way for you to learn the basics um, and, and really get out there. And I'm here to help you all the way as long as everybody else on the team. Boom, that's simple. Um, don't ever discredit anybody because they're a discount coach because you just never know. The next Scotty Hobbs might be in your downline as a discount coach and because you didn't believe in them and open up that door, they never took the chance. Just like the challengers, unless you invite them, they're never gonna jump into your challenge group. Um, so please, 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 believe in people, just believe in people because anybody can do this. If you knew me, I don't have a college degree. It's not, it's not, I didn't have patience to go to college. I have like ADD or something. I don't know what it is. School was just not for me. Um, I've always been more of a, and, and English is not my primary language, first of all, right? My parents were first generation, fresh off the boat, coming to America, immigrants. I'm first generation born here in America. So I was actually in ESL until seventh grade. Um, sixth grade, once I got into middle school, I was no longer in ESL and I knew English. And so communicating to me is a big struggle. And I try and try and try to improve that daily. And I think I've come a long way um, because English was not my primary language. But somebody could have looked at me and said, this guy, I was passed up for promotions at work because I didn't have a degree and because I was judged and this and that. And, and now here I am with a, a beach body business making more than my superiors at my previous day job. Um, but don't discredit anybody because you never know because in this business, it's not about how smart you are. It's about your passion and your drive uh, and what you're willing to do for other people and how far you're willing to go to help someone else. So don't discredit anybody at all. Believe in them because everybody needs somebody to believe in them. And sometimes that's all it takes, just that little bit of belief to make that person come out and show you what they're worth and what their true potential is. Um, so the next one, using all the coach tools for growth. There's so many, just use them all. You know, use your online office daily. Browse around that thing all the time. You have downtime, scroll through your online office. Learn each and every single corner of that online office because that is your office. That is your office. Um, and there's so many tools back there, you would blow your mind. If you just spend 10 minutes a day searching that online office, you'll find something new every day. I still find new things all the time. Um, all right, what else? Dream big, guys. Dream big. There is nothing that you cannot accomplish. I promise you this. I promise you this. Reflecting back on my entire Beachbody journey now, I never would have imagined this to be possible. And in fact, I was the biggest doubter when I first started. I remember telling my ex-wife, um, Katie, we cannot trust Mickey, my coach, right? Because I didn't know her. She was assigned to me as a coach. I signed up online. I was a lead for her. Um, so I was like, we can't trust this lady. She just wants our money. 
right? I'll figure this shit out and, oop, pardon my language, and we'll make it happen. But we can't trust these strangers. We don't know who they are. And look at me now, today. I would have never imagined any of this possible, right? She's one of the strongest relationships I have and somebody who is so close to me, um, I would do anything for her. So, <sighs> never give up. Never dream big. I don't know what the future holds, right? Uh, but what I do know is that there are people that are ahead of me in this business who have gone much further than me. And I could only imagine myself being in their shoes. And that would be incredible. And it's possible. And it will happen. Um, because if I can make it this far, why not? Right? And if I can do it, you can do it. So don't ever lose that drive. Don't ever lose those dreams. Don't ever stop pushing, stop working. Don't let yourself make excuses. Because guess what? The stronger you are as a person, the more confident you are as a person, the stronger of a leader you become, the more people will start to look to you. And the more people that start to look to you, the more you will grow, the faster you will grow, and the more successful you will be just by sharing, just by inspiring, just by motivating, right? Um, and don't wait until you finish something to share. Share your journey about how you want to finish something because I guarantee you just by doing that alone, you're going to push 10 times harder. Um, and you will get to that level because your subconscious is working at it already just by putting it out there, holding yourself accountable. Um, scheduling your next challenge group, you're already there. Um, hold a challenge group each and every single month. Make it a non-negotiable. Even if you only add one or two people to it and you have a challenge group that's ongoing, and start your own challenge group. Start your own challenge group with maybe one other coach if you want to have partners. Right? Partner up with somebody so that it's not just one or two or three customers. It should be three if we're hitting Success Club 5 at minimum. Um, if it's you and one other coach and you each hit Success Club 5, that's six people every month in your challenge group. Right, And you just add them in and be that leader because I cannot tell you how important it is once you have your own challenge group, how much more you will grow as a leader because they're looking to you as your leader. Right, um, As far as even coach basics, just like this, right? maybe you don't have the time for it right now, but I would love for you to start your own coach basics group once a month or every two months um, and add your coaches as you get them um, so that they can look to you as a leader. Right. Um, or if you're going to, you can use, I run these every month just because this is what I do full time. So I like to alleviate pressure of other people, but I want them to look to you as a leader, not me. So even if you do use our groups, right, because me, Shelly and Vivi do this together for our coaches. Um, but even if you do this for yourself or even if you're using this group um, and me to, to put people through coach basics, make sure you connect with them. Connect with them and follow up with them just to see how they're doing. Hey, you know, I just want to check in and see how you're doing on that Coach Basics group. Um, just so that you stay connected to them and they still respect you and admire you as a leader versus just throwing them in here and forgetting about them and then that's it. Um, find a success partner, last but not least. Find, well, actually there's one, nope, that's it. Last but not least. Find a success partner. Anybody. Anybody at all. And here's what I encourage. Somebody who either has the same goals and the same vision and drive and passion as you do, or somebody who is somewhere where you want to be that can help you get there through their experience. Because a success partner is a huge deal when it comes to accountability. Have a weekly call with this person. Have a weekly video chat or a weekly meeting if you're close enough. This doesn't even have to be somebody on your team or in your downline. It could be somebody in your upline. It could be somebody not even on the same team. It could be across the beach body network, right? Um, Find a success partner, hold each other accountable and say, listen, these are my goals for next week, personal, business and family. I want to get this done, you know, and w when we meet next week, I'm going to have to give you an update on these three goals and you hold me accountable and you keep me in check whenever you need to become friends. I have to sneeze. Ooh. Anyways, I'm at 18 minutes. I'm already taking up so much of your time. Um, that's it. You guys are officially done. Look at how far you've come since you started as a Beachbody coach. Uh, look at how far you've come since you started as a challenger. I want to let you know again, because this is something that I will never stop talking about. Never stop believing in yourself. Uh, because there are people that look up to you. And the more, even people that you do not even realize that they look up to you and they admire you and that you're inspiring them. And they will come out months from now and say, hey, I just want to let you know, this thing that you posted a few months ago really touched me somewhere. You know, it really made me think, um, and you truly inspired me. This just happened to me today. And honestly, I was, I burst out in tears, and I was happy and sad at the same time, because this person said, I've been following you for over a year. 
And I just want to let you know, the past two months, it seems like you've been a little distant. And I'm worried about you. And I've still been... I get it. I get it. You know, I'm going through all these personal things and I've kind of stepped back a little bit. Um, I haven't had that drive as much as I should. Or I have it, but my priorities, I can't seem to organize them. Um, the emotions that I'm going through in my life are all over the place. And it really hit me. And I was like, crap, get it together, George. You know what I mean? Because for this person to reach out and say that, and they mentioned that they're going through a lot of the same things that I am and that they need me now more than ever. And I was just like, whoa, you know, and this, this has happened many times in the past for different situations. People that just say, thank you. You know, they, they were never in my challenge group, but I saw something that you posted and it, it motivated me and I've lost 60 pounds since on my own. And these things, this is what I do it for. That's exactly why I do what I do. Um, and that's why most beach body coaches do what they do, I believe, because we just want to see other people succeed the same way that we succeed, whether it be in fitness, in health, um, in mindset, or financially. So the more you believe in people, the more you believe in yourself, the more you hold yourself accountable and put yourself out there, I can guarantee you that you have a beautiful beach body journey ahead of you. Um, mine is now on my second year. This month will be finishing up my second complete year and it's been an incredible ride filled with many ups and downs, peaks and valleys, um, and it's all worth it. When I look back at the overall picture, it's all been worth it. You know, has there been struggles along the way when I'm like, shoot, you know, like I wish this was so much easier? Yes. Yes, there has been many struggles. They never held me back. Um, they never stopped me from achieving my goals. And if you want to succeed, make it a priority to hit success club every month and to be a product of the product um, and to never stop believing in the company uh, because this company has changed my life in so many ways. And I will forever be grateful for that to our amazing CEO, Carl Deichler, um, and to my coach and my, my upline team and um, my team and you girls and guys and, and everybody in my downline and all of my friends and family. Um, because I am a completely different person than the person who I was before Beachbody. And nothing, nothing will ever stop me from getting to where I want to be in life uh, and inspiring and motivating as many other people as possible along the way as I can. So congratulations, you guys. Your Coach Basics is officially a wrap. Um, we start one of these every month. So they're actually going to change up a little bit, and I'm going to make them only 30 days versus 60. Uh, there's a new rollout coming out soon. I'm just waiting for it and I'm going to have these videos pre-made. And feel free to always add your coaches to these Coach Basics training. And I would like to see you, um, whether it's me or Shelly or Vivi hosting the next Diamond Mind Group, to see you be in that group. Uh, and I can't wait to see your success with Beachbody. And dream big and never give up. Goodbye, guys and girls.